Okay, so let's set up our Azure DevOps. This is where we can create our remote repository. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, go ahead and create one because you're going to need to sign in. So I will sign in to Azure DevOps. I'm going to create a new project. Click log and make sure it's set to private. And then hit create. Now, you are given a lot of options here inside of DevOps, but right now we're just going to focus on repos. And as you can see, it's currently empty, so we're going to have to set that up. Now, something I didn't discuss in the uh, first video is setting up Git, but you will need to install Git onto your machine. So just go ahead and search for Git and Git Flow, and you should be able to get it installed onto your machine. Right, so the first thing we'll need to do is actually create the Git repository inside of our project. Up here in the nav bar, you can just do CMD to open up a command prompt. I'm going to use Git flow for initializing the Git repo, as it makes everything pretty easy. So Git flow init-d for defaults. Okay, so we can see that it has been established. Another thing I'm going to do is bring in a git ignore file because we don't want things like the dot user files that are created to go out to our remote repository. Now that's done, we'll leave this command window open and we'll jump back here and to push an existing repository we have two commands here so I'm gonna grab this guy copy it hop back over to your command paste it in there hit enter we're good there let's grab that second one enter okay we now have all of our uh, git uh, connections down here inside the project and we see that we have 138 changes that are not out on the remote server I'm in the develop branch that's fine I'm gonna make a message I'm just gonna say initialize commit all so those changes have been committed however we need to push them out to the remote repository so you can click that and hit push see the progress up here Right, so success pushing out there. If we open it up in here, we refresh the page and we go to the develop branch, we'll see that all of our files and such exist out on the remote repository. And just to get things consistent across the master and develop, go to team, explorer, home, go to branches switch over to our master branch okay and we see there's nothing inside the master branch so um, I will right click on develop branch and I'll say merge from we're merging from develop to the master merge okay so I had some issues there I just had to restart Visual Studio and now everything seems to be synced up with the master branch. Jump back over here. Now if we go to our master branch, we'll see that the repository has been updated. Okay, so that means that as we are making changes and going through this, if we make some mistake or run into any issues, we can always revert to an earlier commit. That way, you know, we don't get ourselves into some deep trouble here. Also, if something happens on your hard drive locally and you lose this project, you can always go to your remote repository, clone it back down by using this. So that concludes our video on source control and remote repositories in Azure DevOps. In the next video, we'll go over customizing the login and registration pages, which will include adding our first and last name fields to the registration page.